solve this problem. In this problem, pressure of pure heptane is given. It is 105.2 kPa and pressure of pure octane is 46.8 kPa and the mass of heptane 26 and mass of octane 35 gram mix together and generate a solution. And we have to find total partial pressure generated by both the component. So we have to find total pressure. P total. The total pressure will equal to pressure, partial pressure generated by heptane plus partial pressure generated by octane. So I am writing here partial pressure of heptane plus partial pressure of octane. H is representing heptane and O is representing octane. So, and taking it as equation first. So now, we have to find value of pH and PU. Partial pressure of heptane. The formula of partial pressure of heptane will pressure of pure heptane P not H into molar fraction of heptane and for partial pressure of octane it will also say pressure of pure octane into molar fraction of octane it will be our second equation now here you can see pressure of pure heptane is given in this problem so we have to calculate molar fraction molar fraction of heptane and molar fraction of octane what is the formula of molar fraction molar fraction of heptane will number of moles of heptane divided by total number of moles and there are only two components so divide by number of moles of heptane plus number of moles of octane now we have to find for XO molar fraction of octane and when we have already get first value no necessary to use this formula again we can calculate it by subtracting value of XH molar fraction of heptane from what because sum of molar fraction is always equal to 1 you can also use same formula here PO will equal to number of moles of octane divided by number of moles of heptane plus number of moles of octane. You can use any formula, but I am using this one here. Now move on. So we have to find number of moles here. What is the formula of number of moles? Number of moles always equal to given mass divided by they are corresponding molecular mass molecular mass or molar mass same thing this is our fourth formula to be used so we know what is the given mass it is our given mass and we have to find the molecular mass here so find the molecular mass first I am calculating for heptane molecular mass mass of heptane. The formula of heptane is C heptane has 7 carbon H twice of 7 plus 2 7 to ja 14 plus 2 16 The formula of heptane or octane will always follow the rule C and H 2N plus 2 So there are 7 carbon and each carbon has atomic mass 12 plus you can see there are 16 hydrogen atom and each has mass as 1 now calculate it and after calculation we get 100 gram per mole now similarly solve for octane the formula of octane has 8 carbon now what is the number of hydrogen double the 8 value 8 to the 16 add to 2n twice of n plus 2. So we get a to the 16 into 18. Here 8 carbon, 8 into 12, 
18 hydrogen 18 into 1 and now calculate it and after calculation we will get 114 gram per mole so we have calculated number of NH it is number it is four. So now we have to calculate H. now this is our number of moles now we can plug this value in our equation 3 plug in equation 3 in equation 3 we have to find molar fraction so what is the formula of molar fraction here molar fraction of heptane will equal to number of moles oh we have to find the number of moles first let me use we have to find number of moles first so what is the formula of so plug the value formula of 4 first plug in 4 here number of moles is equal to given mass divided by molecular mass so what is our given mass for heptane it is 26 gram so number of moles of heptane bill mass of heptane it is 26 gram divided by molecular mass of heptane and it is 100 after calculation we will get 0 0.26 mole similarly solve for second one molecular number of moles of octane Ma octane. So take NO number of moles of octane. Here mass of octane is 35 gram and molar mass of octane is 140. Plug the value and after calculation we will get 0 0.31 mole. Let's solve it further. Now we have plugged the value in equation 4 and have, has get value of NH and N. Now we can plug this value in equation 3. So plug in 3. We have always move down to up if we use this type of approach. So here molar fraction of H heptane will number of moles of heptane we have calculated number of moles of heptane 0.26 and it is divided by sum of their corresponding number of moles so 0.26 and number of octane is 0.31 now calculate it and after calculation we will get 0.456 now we can solve PO. Molar fraction of X. Yes. So plug the value in this formula. So number molecular molecular fraction of octane will equal to 1 minus 0 0.456. And after calculation, we will get 0. 544. So now we have get this value. No, not this value. Yeah. Now we have calculated this value and this value. With the help of this value, now we calculate value of pH and PU. So plug the value in equation second. Plug in equation second. It is our second. So partial pressure of generated by heptane will equal to pressure of pure heptane and it is given in question 105.2 multiplied by molar fraction of heptane and we have calculated molar fraction of heptane is equal to 0 0.456 and after calculation we will get 47.97 kPa kilo Pascal similarly now we can plug the value in this formula PO partial pressure of octane will equal to pressure of octane which is which is 46.8 into molar fraction 
and we have calculated the molar fraction and it is 0 0.544 and after calculation we will get 25.46 kilo pascal now we can plug this value in equation first total pressure so p total will equal to pressure of generated by heptane plus pressure generated by octane that means 47.97 Pressure generated by heptane and pressure generated by octane 25.47. Now calculate it and after adding both values we get 73.43 kPa kilo pascal. This is our so what was our approach? Let watch again. In this problem we have considered thermal total partial fraction. Formula of fraction, partial fraction, formula of molar fraction, formula of number of moles and use this formula in reversible order we get our answer.